Now, as we continue to learn more about the victims injured and killed during the ill-fated Astro World Festival, there's more disheartening news coming in. An Indian origin student, Bharati Shahani, was has been declared a brain dead after she was injured in the festival crowd surge in Houston. The 22-year-old went to the Travis Scott concert on the 5th of November with her sister and another family member when the crowd of about 50,000 people began to push against one another, created what is known as crowd surge. Video shared on social media shows concert goers rushing to the stage as rapper Travis Scott took to the stage. Attendees began passing out, were crushed by the force of the crowd. Shani was rushed to the Houston, Houston Methodist Hospital where she remains in the ICU. They're going to tell you what is Bharti? Bharti, my baby, love. Bharti is love. I don't know what to do now without Bharti. How will I live without her? I want my baby back, please. Give me my baby back, please. Oh my God, my baby. Sorry about that. Bharti is my baby. And nice baby, pretty. I pray God, Bharti, everybody have a baby like Bharti. Because she is the best. But Namrata is good too. She's nice too. My little one, Ria, she's sweet too. But Bharti, Bharti, that is the best. Bharti, mama. Bharti. Ask anybody in the family. You ask, you come ask my neighbor. You know, she helped me at the store. Ask somebody. How is Bharti? I don't have any words, you know. What to say? <laughs> Only thing I would say, Bharti is love. You know what is love? Bharti is love. Pure. Always thinking about everybody. Friends, parents, family, my daughters. Her dog, Blue. She has a Blue pet, husky, she Bharti called baby, blue is my baby mama, and I said no, Bharti, she said yeah mama, blue is my baby, she is love, you know what is the other name of Bharti, Bharti is love, only giving, only giving, she don't ask nothing, whatever I tell Bharti, yes mama, Bharti help me at the store. Yes, Mama. She will sit late night studying, more focused. Only A's and B's. No C. Uh-uh, never. No hanging around. No. <clears throat> Very nice. I'm blessed. She, God gave me, you know, blessing. But what happened now? What happened to my blessing now? I... I want my baby back, you know? I won't be able to live without her. It's, it's like, it's impossible. You know what I'm saying? I'm empty here. My Bharti? Bharti, they say Bharti gone, no? She in vent now, in the hospital? She's in vent. You know, God is there. You believe Krishna? God? Jesus? God? God? You know God? God, Father. Miracle happen, you know? Miracles happen. She might come back, right? They didn't take the vent off. No. But you know what my daughter did? <laughs> best part, you know? What is the best part? You know? You know what is the best part? She, she signed. When she's gone, She's going to donate her organs. See? You see? Did you see that? You know? Always giving, no taking. First thing she asked me, the life, Mama, can I go to this concert? Why did I say no to her? You know why? Because this was the first thing she asked me for herself. And first I said, no, no, no. That's because we don't go to concerts. No, we don't. We don't even know what this concert is all about. I know concert might be music, you know, having fun, girls having fun. But 
this is not concert, right? No, this was not concert. I don't know what it was, but this was not concert. You know, because my baby didn't come back. This was not a concert at all, you know? But you know, she might come back, right? Miracle happened, did I tell you? God, Krishna, I believe in Krishna. Krishna, Radha. Bhati is Radha. Radha is love. What is Radha, you know? Radha? Krishna Radha. Radha is love. Bharti is love. My baby is love. Raju Bharti love. Right? Yeah. See my baby. She might come back, you know? She's still in the vent. Yeah. I was sitting and they told me, you have to, let's go here. I said, okay, I talk about Bharti. Because, you know, Bharti, everyone should know what is Bharti. I, I want the world to know what is Bharti. <clears throat> And my whole life, that whole complex from races to rodeos to carnivals to uh, thrill shows, it's always been a place of community, of family. Never in a million years would I ever imagine that something like this could transpire at, at this, this is the pillar of our community, the, the, the symbol of, of community and family and, and, and rodeo and, and all the good things about Houston. My son, 17 years old, uh, he, he was at the show. I watched him and his, all of his friends take off to go, excited. And I was blessed that he made it home that night. The Shahanis did not get that same dream. Never in a million years when she took off with her friends, her sister and her cousin to the show, that that would be the last time that they ever saw her. Barty was a shining star in the community. She was a, 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 a sister, a daughter, a high achieving college student about to graduate from the Texas A&M University with high, high grades. Barty never, she was the ideal child. Again, let's take a moment for thoughts and prayers from our community, from the state, from the whole nation. To just think about not only the Shahanis, but the nine other people who have lost permanently their loved ones. This was a monumental travesty from start to finish. At air, from the performer down to the ticket sales, everyone gets an F for their it failed at every level. We're only beginning to under, un, to figure out the failures, but there are many, and there's and, there, and I imagine there's going to be more to come. The way that this festival was put on was a recipe for disaster that these people cooked up, from the configuration to the. They ran so many stop signs on the way to finally the, the fatality wreck. I mean, from the very beginning, they ignored safety. Um, they put profits over safety. And as a result, we have this tragedy. I do want to, and I will lead with this. There's been a lot of questions, um, and I think it's, it's common knowledge, but uh, there was a video going around that most people have seen of a young lady falling from a gurney as they were trying to um, get her out of there, evacuate her. That was Barty Shahani. Okay. And we're not going to really entertain any other questions about that. I just, if, if people are still wondering, I'll, 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 I'll let y'all know that. The Shahanis are immigrants. Their children are first generation Americans. I'm a first-generation American. My family immigrated here. 
seeking better opportunities for their children. And Varti played the role that first generation oldest siblings play. They are the glue of the family. They are the liaisons. They are the mentors. They are the advisors. They are the interpreters. They are the people who keep the family together. And not only do they keep the family together, but they ensure that the family will thrive. That was who Barty was to her family, the oldest sister. She helped her family with their business. She made sure that her family could thrive in this community. And because of the gross negligence and utter disregard for human life by all those that were involved, that was taken from this family. Here today, I uh, came here to just get a justice for my daughter, Bharti Shahani. And I'm here to tell you what Bharti was meant for us. She was born on 26 July 99 in New York at the St. John Hospital. And I came to this country in 92. I came here with my parents to make a bright future for our family. I had seven sisters and I was the only son to the, my parents. From very beginning, from my school life till college, I had to work hard to support the family. And I used to work hard to make sure that everybody gets the food on the table. From New York, we moved down to Charlotte, North Carolina in 2006. I was there for three and a half years. My parents moved here, my sisters moved here in Houston, and they keep were telling me that there is a bright future over here in Houston. So I moved here finally in 2009 in July. When I was moving, you know, my kids, I had two daughters at that time, Namrata and Bharti and they were small, so they agreed to move down here. And then I had a third daughter here in 2010, and her name is Ria Shahani. Bharti used to take care of our whole family, like taking care of her younger sister, being like her mother, because my wife, she started working with me and was supporting me in the business, because in business we had a lots of ups and downs. When I moved here in July, I started working with one of my friends in a clothing store to just get the experience of here. I'm, I'm in a clothing business since 2001. So when I was trying to start my own business, my mom got sick in 2010 and she was here five, six months in the Methodist hospital itself with a pancreatitis. And then my dad got alone. My dad, I lost my mom in 2011, I lost my dad in 2013, and I was without the job for four years, in which I got a good support from my sisters and my brother-in-laws over here. So those, Bharti was seeing, my kids saw what I was doing for my parents, and they learned the same thing from us, and they were taking care of us. Bharti's future was like, say, Daddy, I want to be in an a and I want to do a engineering in a chemical engineering. That was her dream. So we sent her to the A&M because first two years she did a St. Jack down here and then she went to A&M for her studies. After, you know, first semester she changed her topic from the chemical engineering to the computer science and she told her daddy is your bright future and we will do an online business on uh, to your store because you are struggling hard, you have to be five days in the store. And that's why, you know, we had a support from her. Unfortunately, it was a wrong day and wrong time for her. She went to that concert of Astro World. 
she called me around three o'clock daddy we are leaving home and i was at the work with and my wife was at the shop too and at six o'clock when they were entering to the concern they call us that we had a, ate a pizza and all that daddy so inside maybe our phones will not work because the signal might be low and it might be too loud at 7:45 my wife she text her and she ask her how's everything going she say everything is going good we have finished the one concert we are waiting for the next one opening uh, starting at 9 o'clock so we thought like our kids are enjoying in the as uh, at the concert and they are enjoying the music and all that but at 10:45 i got a call from my second daughter namrata shani that i lost my phone and it's too crowded and i'm trying to look for bharti she st- she got a phone from some security person over there and she was trying to call her her ho- phone was been not replied then i had to uh, when she called her then you know my nephew was there too with them so i called my nephew and he picked up the phone and then i made a three way calls and that, uh, so that he can go and pick up namrata where she was stuck and then i told them to start looking for Bharti. That was around 10:45. By 11 o'clock, we and me and my wife left for the NRG Stadium because I was really upset that a lot of something had gone wrong because of that. Bharti is not picking up the phone. Otherwise, she always picks up the phone right away and replies to us. when we reached to the nrg we went through from each security and all that finally they told us they have sent it a lot of patients to the bent top so we went to the bent top first from bent top they told us she is not here then they sent us to the harman memorial we went there even she was not there and it was getting very scary for us you know that we can't find her till now it was it was almost 2 o'clock in the morning finally we found her in the methodist hospital in a emergency in a critical condition with a heart failure and she was on the vent and it was really tough for us to see her in that condition she i can tell you a little bit brief about her she was like an angel for us she was the head of the family she was a very nice girl always calm always listens and she had a bright future only thing i'll request you guys all you know to the ustonians to please please make sure that she gets the justice and i don't want somebody else daughter to go like this i was keep hearing the news and all that but for last 6 days i not slept also me and my wife for 24 hours 7 days we were like with my daughter in the icu and i'll be thankful to the methodist staff too which they allowed us to stay in her room so whatever time was left we can spend with her now i'm worried about the my two daughters and my wife you know what will be the impact on them after we lost our precious angel i don't have to say anything else you know i'll pass it on i still am not being able to process what happened on the night of november 5th it just feels like that day never ended it feels like we're still living in this nightmare that's not ending and every day i wake up i constantly wish that like maybe it was all just a dream maybe it was just a big nightmare and it'll finally be over and i can finally see my sister again finally hold her again finally hug her again like tell her how much i love her we were holding hands that night i was there with her i was holding her hand and once that happened the next time i saw her she was in the er 
unconscious on a ventilator. I just want to ask everyone, right? Not just Houston. I feel like as a world, this is our responsibility to make sure that we get justice for this. Like, things like this shouldn't be happening, especially now. Especially after all the this we have faced, right? Like, stuff like this shouldn't be happening. It's not normal. This is her first music festival. This is about, like, our first music festival. She was looking forward to it. She had her outfits planned. She bought everything. She was, she tried everything on. She showed me. Never once had we thought that we we both wouldn't be, make it back home or back to the hotel that night. That thought had never crossed our heads. 